Oh, hey, didn't see you there. I was sitting here thinking, I was wondering, should you upgrade to Elgato's new HD60X for next-gen consoles, especially if you use a Mac? Let's talk about that. What is going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creating TV. Yes, so in today's video, I'm going to explain, should you upgrade to Elgato's new HD60X especially if you use Mac for next-gen console. And when you want to stream, you know, going to Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, stuff like that, should you upgrade and get the new capture card? Or are you just good with where you at? If you own the Elgato HD 60S, this capture card right here, if you own this, yes, upgrade, especially if you use a Mac, but you should have the Elgato HD 60S Plus. Having this come, uh, capture card, Elgato HD 60S, if you use a Mac, this is what I want you to do with it. Throw it away. You don't need them all. Because that capture card sucks on Mac, especially. The Elgato HD60S sucks on Mac. It's always, it has the lag, delay. Don't use that no more. So you should be using the Elgato HD60S Plus. What I have personally, I haven't got the Elgato HD60X. As we browse over here on the website, Elgato Gaming website, keep in mind this video is not being sponsored at all. It's just my opinion. I'm just giving you an update. Because me, personally, I stream off of Mac, and I do own the Elgato HD60S and the Elgato HD60S Plus. I'm trying to let you guys know, is it worth it to upgrade if you stream off of Mac, especially if you own next-gen console, playing on your PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series X or S? On Elgato's website, we will start off with Elgato HD60S. As you can see, S Plus, sorry about that. You should, as you see, the price drop has dropped, $179.99. Also, if you want to get one of these, I'll leave the links to it down in the description box down below. But you can check all this stuff out on the website. But what I want to get to is down here, this right here where it shows the 4K utility. That is only if you are using a PC. Because on Mac, we ain't got that 4K utility software. And I can show you that myself. So we don't have that on Mac. You know, you want the technical specifications. So in the box is what you get right here. You can pause the video of uh, 4K, 60 FPS, HDR, you know, capture resolutions. But half of us don't really even own a 4K monitor. So system requirements. Let's get right here real quick. For Windows. Windows computer is this what you really would need. But, you know, it works sufficiently on Windows and the software you can use the 4K utility software on a Mac. Now, here's your system requirements on a Mac that you need to at least have four gigabytes of RAM Internet. Now, that's just basic just to get you by. But technically, if you're going to be really streaming on your Mac, you should need at least eight gigs, 16 be even better. Me and my MacBook, I own 32. So you're like, all right, cool. You know, it sounds interesting. Sounds good. $179.99. And let's hop over here to Elgato HD60X, the next best capture card, $199.99. And this is the capture card that everybody wants to know, should they upgrade, should they get to it? I'm getting one, so I will let you guys know, know update video, details, specs on that. Checking this out right now, $199. Capture like a pro, VRR. Variable re refresh rate. That's what VRR stands for. Variable re refresh rate. It's good, you know, this capture card does have that, but the PlayStation 5 don't got that. That's for sure. PlayStation 5 ain't got that. Maybe in a later on future update, we will have it. But if you got an Xbox, you're good. You're sufficient. So, you know, it works great. You know, it got StreamYard, OBS, Streamlabs Desktop, 4K, Elgato's 4K utility software, Elgato Game Capture HD software. You know, it works all great for all the streaming platforms, especially if you want to stream on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, gaming. The new capture card, is it worth it? Should you get it on the Mac? So first, we're going to go to the technical specs. So what you get in the box, as you can see, is same as the Elgato HD60S Plus, but system requirements. Here we go. So on Windows, here are the system requirements for Windows. Don't, don't, don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. So Windows, as you can see, you know, Windows 10, 64-bit, 6th generation, you know, stuff like that for Windows. So if you got Windows, bam, you're good. You're solid. Now, if you got Mac, this also works with M1 Macs, supposedly, as they say. I don't know that for sure, but they upgraded and said it works with M1 Macs. So if you got an M1 Mac, go ahead and test it out if you want to get it. They just changed these right now. So th thanks to my good friend, uh, Midnight Man, for announcing that in their tweet, because they did. They, that, that was like the Windows one, and they finally upgraded it. So thanks to Midnight Man for getting them to change it. Really appreciate on that. So they do say it works on M1 Macs. I don't have an M1 Mac yet. If I get one, I would test it and let you guys know what works and what doesn't work so m1 max intel apple m1 nvidia so we just have to see how all that works let's go over here to the comparison real quick i want to compare the hd60s plus versus the hd60x 
And the way you're going to compare it, so look, okay, the X, it comes with VRR pastors. Sure. PlayStation 5 don't have that yet. Only go for Xbox. So if you didn't know that. Okay. So you got everything else is basically the same. So both capture cards don't give you 4K 60 uh, capture. So you can't capture in 4K anyway. And this 4K capture utility, that's for PC. Mac don't have that. That We only have the Elgato a Game Capture HD, which is like, oh, and they still haven't upgraded that in. So I'm going to send them another email or a tweet and say, when y'all going to update that for Mac? Because y'all showing, you know, nice specs for the 4K utility for pc but mac we ain't getting nothing so if you stream on mac like me you know i would like to use elgato's uh, updated software but the game capture is so old it's like uh stay tuned for an upcoming video if it's worth it to use elgato game capture in 2022 owning the elgato hd60s plus and you're on a mac should you upgrade to the hd60 i don't think it's worth it unless you want to just go out and spend 200 dollars plus tax. So for me, I'm just getting it just to show you guys what works and what doesn't work. All right, now, so we're here on the software part where you download the software for whatever Elgato product you have. So we'll start off first with Windows. Now I'm going to show you on Windows, you scroll down here to the Elgato HD60S Plus. Here's the 4K utility that I was talking about. This is only for Windows. It doesn't work on Mac. Now, and you can see they got that for HD60X. They still use 4K utility. Now watch this. Elgato HD60X, the new capture card for Mac. What Windows software, what software do we have? Nothing. <laughs> Literally says, sorry, there is no software available at the moment. So that's why I said it's not really worth it if you're using a Mac to stream and you're already on the Elgato HD60S Plus. But hey, I'm going to get it just to test out some things to see, okay, well, how do you use this? Or, you know, I'm going to just test out some stuff and give a well detailed exp explanation how to set it up and everything else. If you want to go to the Elgato HD60S, see this? Game capture. This is the old game capture. Elgato, if you see this video, can you please update this to 2022 version? You know, something modern because this is old and nobody still wants to really use this you know it's sufficient it works but updated you know we need some changes to this let me know down in the comment section down below what you thought about this video it's the comparison should you upgrade nah not especially if you're on a mac no if you have elgato hd60s plus you should be fine right now but if you want to upgrade and go out and spend the 200 dollars be my guest. I'm not telling you to. I will leave links to both of them down in the description box down below if you want to get yourself one. I will also leave links to the Elgato Chat Link Cable Pro if you want one of those down in the description box down below. But that being said, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Would you be upgrading? Will you be getting one? What do you think about the new capture card for next gen console gaming? I think it's sweet. So I will should, should be having it soon. Stay tuned for that video. If you want to catch more of my tutorial videos, this is your boy Brandon coming to you from Creighton TV and I'm signing out of here. Peace.